And the Monahans Lobos are a team coming off a big win to start district play. The team has a bye week tonight. So let's send it over to Pete, who is standing by with a guest in studio. All right, thanks, Tara. Joining me now in studio, Mickey Owens, head coach of the Monahans Lobos. It is their bye week, but you're coming off of a big time win to start up district play against Seminole. You get the win 27 to 19, coming from behind. What was the key in that one? Well, I thought we just persevered. Really, the kids played extremely hard, uh, as did Seminole, mm -hmm. and uh, it was a it was kind of a back and forth game. Uh, really, a, a defensive battle. And uh, nowadays, you don't see many games mm -hmm. like that. But I thought our kids just hung in there, and we were able to pull out a big win and a one and zero. And going into bye week was really big for us. How important is that win for you guys? Obviously, you're going one and zero in district play, uh, but you guys have had some weird instances this season. The big spring game getting called off. Uh, the Andrews game was so close, but then you're able to get it together to start district play. You know, we felt like our schedule really uh, was going to help us as the district started. Uh, we, we played uh, we played Wall. We were able to get a win there. We played Canyon toe-to-toe uh, -to -toe with them late in the game, kind of pulled away. Uh, lost a late one against Andrews. So we felt like our schedule was there. We just couldn't get a uh, uh, get some wins put together. Uh, but against Seminole, we were able to do that. So hopefully our schedule, preseason schedule, will carry over in the district. This district seems wide open. I mean, Greenwood is having a great year. Seminole is really playing well, especially uh, what happened to them last year. Uh, and you got Fort Stockton, who seems to be better than their record. Um, and it goes down the line. Pecos, obviously, you got Bubba Henson at quarterback. They can do a lot of good things as well. Where do you guys think you fit into that picture? Well, we hopefully, you know, that we're at the, in the top four, you know, playoff run. We're, we're playing for the district championship, as is everybody else, you know. Uh, but I don't think, uh, probably right now, Sweetwater's probably the front runner, mm -hmm. and then everybody else is chasing those guys. Uh, but from top to bottom, uh, probably the last six years, this is probably the toughest our district has been from top to bottom. And so uh, every Friday night, you know, it's not really an upset if, if somebody wins because uh, all the teams are very quality. All right, so Nico Arandondo, uh looking to be your starting running back and your starting corner on the first day of pads practice in camp. He gets injured. He's been out. Uh, where's he at health-wise? Well, we, he actually started working out uh, this past Wednesday and Thursday. Mm -hmm. He's still probably uh, a couple of weeks away mm -hmm. from, from getting there. Uh, it was Initially, we thought it was a sprain, and it ended up being a break. So uh, that has hurt us at, at uh, corner. Uh, we've mm -hmm. tried several guys at corner. Uh, some guys have really stepped in, done a great job. Uh, at tailback, uh, our tailback now is having to play both ways, so that hurts mm -hmm. us. So yeah. Nico would be a great addition if we could get, get him back. But it's probably going to be a couple of weeks before, it, before we get them back, though. Nico with a fractured ankle. All right, coming up next, Greenwood. What do you have to do? How do you beat them? Well, you got to keep the ball away from a tough spread team, you know, and, and that's kind of our what we try to do anyway. Uh, our running game is just try to shorten the game as much as we can. They've got a great quarterback. Uh, defensively, uh, uh, those guys do a great job against us in every year. So, got a good running game. Probably the running game is a lot better than they've been. And so, uh, it, it will be a big test. Luckily, we have them at home, so that hopefully is a little bit of advantage, yeah. but uh, who knows? All right, Mickey Owens, head coach of the Monahans Lobos, spending their bye week with us in studio. Tara, 